Oh, that just really annoys me. That that pisses me off. Where people do shit jobs like that for people. So chop that out all around there. I'm just dubious that those pipes are going to run right where I need to fix it. Worked it out. That one's fine. That one's fine. There he is. <laughs> Today's little offering. And the customer's complaining that since the dishwasher had gone back in, there was no water coming out. Right, so uh, it's Thursday, is it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday morning. Um, I've started doing a bit of work for this builder. Um, I've done a couple of little jobs for him so far. Anyway, he rung me up the other week to see if I can get to this job and put a, so the, the brief was underfloor heating manifold and a rad. Um, I've just got here and there's underfloor heating manifold, two rads, it's got to be connected to the, to the actual full heating system. Basin, uh, dishwasher's got to go in, basically quite a few other little bits, which is fine, but I'm not going to be able to get it done in the time that he wants. So we'll be here today. I'll get the manifold on the wall, connected up hopefully to the underflooring circuits that are already in. I've got nothing to do with them. So I'll get that on, get that connected and get the rads in position on the wall. Um, Cause the guy wants the pipe work coming out the wall into the rads, which is fine. Um, but I'll have to come back at some point next week or the following week and drain the system, connect into the system. Um, but that's what it's like sometimes when you, you get thrown in the deep end sort of thing with a, with a new builder. He's good as gold, you know, he's got plenty of work for me, so which is good. So little jobs like this, just getting sort of into the swing of things, meeting the different lads on site that I haven't worked with before is great. So we'll get in there now, I'll show you what's what and um, basically just see, see, what, see what's what on it, get, get it done, get... Um, get the pipe working, get the manifold on, pumps on, and go from there. So we've got a rush going on that wall at some point. We've got a rad going on here. So we've got to get the rad on here, connect these pipes into it, into the wall, chop it into the wall, come out, feed that rad that's going on there. Those rads there, and then, the other end of these heating pipes are here. So you've got to connect, that's the heating circuit apparently, so you've got to drain down, connect onto there, get them on. Um, another one of them rads is going in here. And then the underfloor heating manifold. So the underfloor heating is in that section of the of this bit. So it's just a two port underfloor heating manifold. We've got here, so that's going here. Already got the feeds in for the heating, so we can come off them, but I think we're gonna to have to take a bit more of that brickwork out because that's not gonna fit house. But we'll have a look, we'll tweak it around and see what's what. That's basically it. So we'll see. So you've got two port valve, got the pump here, blending valve pump here, connections off the top, which will go to there. So we'll build this up now, get it offered into place. We might have to chop a bit of that out. Right, so basically where this manifold's gotta go, situated to get everything to fit it's got to be sort of there back to the wall so we're gonna have to chop out this part of the brickwork here to get it flushed back so we get that chopped out right so i've chopped a bit more of that wall out to offer this up now so that's gonna sit roughly around there so that should work now so we'll get it bolted into the wall and then you can come across, connect it up, and get these tails for the underfloor heating connected in. Right, so we've chopped that out all around there. Got the board on, got the manifold on. Just, I've just got two screws on at the minute because I just want to offer the pipe work up into place. Got to get some, some different male iron to coppers on here because the ones we've got are, well, the ones I bought are three quarter of inch to be inch to get onto that. But yeah, we'll get that on, get these, tails connected in and uh, and get it in right that's the first two connected in uh, we'll just cut these two down now and connect them in there Thank you. 
Right, there we go, so we've got the tops connected, the bottoms connected. Now we'll just connect on here, come off here and pick up that there. Right, so as we said, that's in. They've got no copper, put no 22 mil copper on this site. Um, I've got none spare in the van because it's all on that other job, because this job's just a turn up, everything's here, but clearly it's not. Um, so I've got it in. I'm gonna start hanging the rads now, so when I come back next week, we can tail that up and and do what we need to do there. So I've got this rad here, we'll unpack it, get it measured up, get it on this wall here. Right, so we've got this rad, this black rad. The front looks all uh, smart, this, that and the other. But from the back, from what I can see, it's just basically a rad. And they've put this, put this, these covers on it and made it quite a smart looking one. So in essence, it's just a normal rad been painted black with a cover on it but it's quite heavy so we've got six point six fixing points mark that up on here on there but where we've got to put it i'm just dubious that those pipes are going to run right where i need to fix it so i'm going to chop it out just have a look just to be double, double sure really because you know what will happen if i don't i suppose Close, isn't it? The best part. I hit it. I hit the fucker up. Yeah. Yeah, I told you I'd hit it. I thought I chopped it out. Chopped it out. Worked it out. That one's fine. That one's fine. And then the pipe must go. Dip to the left there. So I'll hit it there. But yeah, first few were all right. Then it went a bit downhill. So yeah, I measured that up there. But it just must kick across at the top. So I saw it absolutely pissed out. But it's one of them things. So we'll cut that out up there, expose where it is, and uh, go from there. But it shot right across, which is nice. Right, so what I've managed to do is cut out where I drilled the hole and fortunately we've got enough movement on that pipe there under the floor and cut another section in there, lift that up, slide a coupler onto it and then get it back in the wall. But to be fair, they're not, the pipes aren't buried that deep in the wall. But we'll just get that done. Yeah, so as I said, I managed to cut that, cut that section out, move that pipe up get that little section in there, pull it down. So now we'll get that soldered up and uh, let's see where we're at with that. Right, so we've got this other rad on this wall here, but we've got a bit of an issue with, you can't really see it. the tops, the tops on, the bottoms on, but the middle brackets, so we don't know if the walls exaggerated that way or the rads that way. So we're gonna lose the middle brackets, but the Top and bottom are holding it firm anyway. There he is! Hi <laughs> oh, boys. Hello, right, son. How are you? Hi mate. Hi mate. Hey. It's Friday, yes it's Friday. <laughs> right, it's Friday, back at the reno house renovation. Um, just doing a few little bits today. The guy's coming to sort the dent out on the van. He couldn't make it last week, so he's coming this week to sort that out, so that's sound. He's got to stick an outside tap in here, which is a bit of a pain because the scaffold's in. But I need to drill it this way into the building. So it's not uh, blowing the face of the brick off out here. Um, I was gonna do a, sort of a tweak on a saw stack, but we've got to wait for the drainage guys to get done. Gonna go and check on the toilers in a minute, see if they're all right. And Dave's grills it just popped off to the bushes to get a load of meat. So it should be a nice little uh, nice little breakfast this morning. I know you've all been missing it because we went out for breakfast last week, but it's coming back this week, so we'll see what it comes back with. So we've got to drill this outside tap in here. 
sort of going to go through here, or at least get the hole drilled in. It's a bit of a pain. I should, should have done it when the waste went in. Um, but I need to get it done before the kitchen goes in inside. So we'll drill it through, poke a bit of pipe out, and go from there. See, this is where the world's longest uh, drill bit comes in handy. Get it right, get it right through there. Man, grill. We're back at Dave's Grills. Today's little offering. Today's sacrifices. Sauce yourself. Sauce, look at that one. That was mine. Sausages, bit of bacon. Socially distanced uh, seating area. Look at these pair, look, look. <laughs> so Leon from Dragon's Dents has done it. Perfect. Dead clever how they do this uh, dent work. But yeah, bang on. So if anyone local needs anything doing. I think he's Daventry way, so Daventry, Daventry stuff. Give uh, Leon a shout. As good as gold. So I just swung into that job for a couple of hours, that renovation. Um, a, because I had the dent guy coming out. He's done a cracking job on it. Uh, dead, dead interesting watching them do it. The way they sort of tap it and heat the paint up and the panel up and pull it out or whatever. But anyway anyone local to sort of Warwickshire, Daventry area, Leon at Dragon's Dents, check him out, he's bang on. Um, so yeah, popped in there, just went through the, with the tilers, making sure they were all right, did a couple of little tidy up little bits here and there. Um, and then this afternoon, I've been waiting for a woman to get back, because she works in the week. So uh, she had a, basically the dishwasher's been working fine, for some reason she had it taken out because they put new flooring underneath where the dishwasher was since putting it back in it's not worked so whether they just haven't turned the washing machine tap onto it or they've kinked the pipe going to it or something we don't know so i'm going to pop there now because she's finished his work half day on friday so i'm going to fly over there now and um go and see what it is hopefully it's nothing too nothing too drastic so we'll head over and have a look What they've done is tiled, tiled the floor, but tiled yeah, the the totally. plinth as well. Under there, under the dishwasher, so you can't get this out without breaking that out. And it's just, it's not even level there. So I just took the bottom row off here because I thought it was gonna, the way that the, this tiler guy's just tiled it in, you're just never gonna get this out. So you knock one off and they're just literally siliconed in. But at least now you can slide this dishwasher out because there's no longer a tile there. Hopefully sort of kink toes out the back. Go from there. It's got the dishwasher out and I've unscrewed this off it but that was basically on the back of the dishwasher and it was pushed into place like so and the customer was complaining that since the dishwasher had gone back in there was no water coming out and we can all see exactly why without kinking it there so just a case of doing that getting the kink out and screwing it on so that that sits like that and push back in but unfortunately you can't get the plinth off because it's tiled directly down onto it so we've got that back in so what we'll do i'll, I'll get some sort of a trim panel to go around there to cover up that's removable because the, the, this tiler guy had tiled around there he's never going to get it out but at least now, dishwasher's working because the kinks no longer there. Oh, that just really annoys me. That that pisses me off. When people do shit jobs like that for people, 
and charge the earth for it. So that woman's basically done a couple of little jobs for her before and she's run me up and she said the dishwasher's not working. I've gone there and looked at the tiling on that floor and it's horrific and as you could see that they, they've pushed the dishwasher in, it's kinked, but just the job on the floor and you know, a small tiny floor like that she had retile, charged a thousand pounds to tile that floor. Absolute joke. My tiler would have probably charged three, four hundred quid including adhesive and grout, he's charged a thousand pound plus the tiles, plus the adhesive, plus the grout. So the poor woman's just been stitched up on it. Um, I just felt really, really sorry for her really, to be fair. Um, but anyway, that's sort of, we've got that done. She wants me to just get some trims around the front of them three movable appliances. So we'll get that done. Um, right, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, comment below, love hearing your comments, stick some below and we'll see you next week.